Welcome back to Gulf Coast Fishing. Here on the show, every week we're gonna try to get everybody up to date on what's going on with our local waters, especially in the inshore side of things. One of the most beautiful things about this area is we have many different species of fish. And since last year, we had a few issues with the red tide. This year, we're starting to see a lot of fish. We're starting to see a lot of trout. The redfish bite is really good. The snook are always around. And then there's always the black drum and the sheep's head. And this year, the sheep's head are starting to show up a little early. Now, they're pretty good size already, so the fishing on the inshore waters has been pretty good, and it's early. That's one of the things we want to touch on each and every week. Now, here in the Gulf Coast area, we are very blessed to be able to fish in many different places at little or no cost to you. So if you have a family with children and you don't want to go offshore or you're worried about the weather, one of the things that you could do is pick out one of the parks in Cape Coral, Punta Gorda, or any of the other places that you would like, and you can actually fish there, no problem. You could also go to different bridges and fish safely off the bridge for many different species of fish. There are beaches, there are fishing piers, and there are also jetties, all of which are very good to fish. You get many different species of fish depending on the time of year, and one of your best baits to use is the live shrimp. You could also use live pinfish or sardines or pilchards in order to catch other species of fish like snook and tarpon. But if you want to catch whatever bites, it's always good to get live shrimp. That is your best bait. If you like artificial lures, feather jigs are fantastic. So try your luck in one of the inshore areas. The water's clear, the water's good. You're gonna have a great time. 